Hi, my name is Axel Rivas. And I am Markus Müller. And then in the following, we'd like to provide you with a basic idea and an overview of our recent work on quantifying spatial correlations in general quantum dynamics. Quantum systems can display a wide variety of dynamical behaviors, which in particular depend on how a system is affected by its coupling to the surrounding environment. Correlations in time, for example, can give rise to non-Markovian behavior. On the other hand, in composite quantum systems, the dynamics can as well be correlated. That means that the time evolution of a subsystem may not be independent of the evolution of the other parts. Such correlations arise naturally in many quantum systems, for instance in physical platforms used for quantum information processing, such as ion traps, optical lattices or solid-state devices. But they can also occur and play a central role in natural processes, such as coherent energy transfer in biomolecules or sub- and superradiant dynamics in atomic ensembles. In this work, we propose a rigorous method to quantify the amount of correlations in general quantum dynamics from a fundamental point of view. To this end, we apply an approach where we consider dynamic correlations as a physical resource. Such resource theory approaches have been adopted successfully in the past to study other quantum properties, such as entanglement, coherence and non-classicality. The theoretical construction of our method can be intuitively understood as follows. The two subsystems A and B, which together form the composite system S, are initially prepared in a pair of maximal entangled states with two respective ancillary systems A' and B'. Then, A and B are exposed to the actual time evolution we are interested in. The amount of correlations in these dynamics can then be quantified by the quantum mutual information of the resulting final state, the so-called Choi-Tarnolkovsky state. This mutual information is zero if and only if the dynamics on A and B is uncorrelated. On the other hand, it is positive and differs the more from zero, the more correlated the dynamics on A and B is. As a first test, we apply our approach to the example of two atoms interacting with electromagnetic radiation field. Here, we find that our correlation measure captures correctly the expected behavior, namely that with increasing distance between the particles, their dynamics becomes more and more uncorrelated. In our work, we also address other questions, such as the existence of maximally correlated dynamics and the criteria that such dynamics needs to fulfill. We furthermore analyze how a correlation quantifier can be employed to assess the locality of aerodynamics in quantum computing platforms. If you are interested in these aspects and more detailed explanations, have a look at our paper 